we're going to try to control our line numbers with some lists. And so how do you add those? That's what we'll find out in this video. So this video is going to be uh, adding some more content to a video I did several years ago over line numbers. And so if as CAD administrators, if we want to kind of control um, some of the uh, selections inside of our uh, line numbers, this is what this video is about. So uh, if we come over to our line numbers, okay, and we have our size, our service, our line number, and our spec, okay. Uh, spec you can choose from, um, size, well, it kind of, you know, I'll show you how to change that later. Uh, service, there's no services in here. And then our line number, there's no uh, line numbers in here. So how are we going to do that? Well, first, you got to come up to your uh, setup. Okay. This is where you set up your uh, line number. So we've added the size, we've added the service, the line number, and the spec. Uh, you, there's a whole bunch of other options you can choose in here. Um, you know, depending on how complicated or how unique your line numbers are. Um, and so if you, you can change it in here, move these up and down, uh, any way you want to, again, you can look at my other video over what the systems off and dynamic and static is, but we're going to add some less to our services. Okay. And so we're going to come over here. And we're going to go to uh, line number uh, drop down setup. So we're going to click on this one. Okay, so we got one for service, we got one for line numbers. Um, and so we're going to add in, you know, like PCW, PCW, um, we're going to add. Uh, you know, process, uh, I don't know, process cooling, uh, well, let's say process cooling water return. And then this one will be process cooling water su supply. And we're going to change this to hot oil and we're going to DI water. And so we've given it a whole bunch of different, uh, uh, new ones in here. And so you can keep hitting add or you hit it enter, it'll go down to the next one. Uh, line number, you can do the same thing depending on how your, um, your your setup is. Your line numbers can be, you know, 01, 02, 03, 04, um, you know, but you can change this on the fly if you need to. So we're going to hit OK. OK. And so now if we go to service, now you can see that we have PC... WS, PCWR, HO, DI water, uh, our line numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and our spec. So we're going to set this as a process cooling water supply. We're going to say this is number one, and we're going to say this is, you know, CS150. Now, if we come over to two size, all of a sudden, magically, it has started allowing you to populate the size. So we're going to say this is a two inch line. Okay. We're going to change this to two inch and it's not dynamic anymore. So it allows you to kind of, you know, you know, use one against the other. Um, so you can put a four inch on a t two inch line. So we're going to put our pipe in here, put it right there and we double click on it and bring it in. You can see that is now two inch PCW CS 150. So, you know, you can build it from the beginning before you start dropping your or start routing your pipe. So let's say uh, there's a field in here that you don't see that you want to add. So if we come over here to our line uh, line numbers and we're coming through here and we got service area and there's other items in here that we want. OK. Uh, but we don't see it in here. There is a way that you can modify the uh, line tag outside of uh, the user interface. 
So what you'll have to do is we're going to have we're going to close this real quick, and then we're going to go to our config file first. Okay, and we're going to go to config, and we're going to do a search. We're going to call line number, and so here's line numbering system. Okay, and you can see that it has our size, our service, our line number, and our spec, just like what we have up here. Well, let's say we want to add one. So first thing we want to do is we want to do uh, separator. Okay. And again, this is a little bit more on the advanced side. I would leave this up to your CAD administrator more than just to your regular user. But I like to have it out there anyway. So if you go, let's go ahead and just copy this because I'm a copier. And we're going to change this to PID. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. Okay. And we're going to close this. Okay. The, the drop down box is populated by this icon right here, or this text file, this drop down list. So if we go ahead and go in here, we can go ahead and change or add that PNID. So it would be whatever the name is uh, that you want. In an underscore you got to make sure that underscore is in there and an equal sign and then 1000 let's say our PNIDs you know increment at one you know so we got 1001 1002 1003 1004 uh, and then we have to have this this semicolon here to say hey stop uh, we're gonna hit save and we're gonna close that out Okay, so we made our changes to our config file and our drop down list. And so now we're going to do a refresh. We're going to have to reload the config file because we've added it to the config file. And so we're going to hit uh, that and we're going to hit load. And we're going to load the same config file we've been working with. And so we're going to hit that. And then we're going to hit apply. Okay. And now you see the PID item is right here. So we're going to click on that one. And there's our four PNID numbers. Um, again, you'll have to go in there and make these changes. You can come over here to line number drop down. And you can see that PID is in here too and you can come in here and start adding more line numbers. Now the cool thing is as long as this drop down is in the same location that everyone's using it in, then you'll be able to share this if you add start adding new numbers to this, they'll see the new numbers also. So we're going to hit okay and we're going to change this one and we're going to run a new piece of pipe. We don't want OLED, we want this. Come over here and we're going to click on this line right here and now you can see that it has the PNID number at the end of it. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about the line numbers uh, and how to modify them to suit your needs. Uh, again if you have any questions or concerns, comments, please let me know. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're continuously trying to grow the channel uh, because it, it benefits me as much as it benefits you. Uh, new questions come up all the time. And it's like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Let's try that. Let's show that. So, um, you know, a lot of the, the questions that are coming in are helping me cr create content. So, um, so until next time.